guys, welcome! In this video, we'll take a look into the mechanics of how to extend your job level until job level 70. We'll tackle the importance of job extension, what quests to do, and what items you need in order to extend your job level. Without further ado, let's begin! There are two main reasons why you'd like to extend your job level. First off, job level 70 is required to unlock the third job classes. Currently, if you are in the Transcendent Job class, your max job level is job level 40. However, in future episodes, we'll have third job classes such as the Warlocks for Wizards, Biochemists for Alchemists, Runites for Knights, and Archbishops for Priests to name a few. These third job classes will require job level 70 before you can change job. It's best to farm our job level right now so that when the next episode patch arrives, we're ready to switch to the third job class. For the second reason, extending our job level will also extend the level of certain skills. Once you have used up your 40 skill points for your transcendent job class, you can extend the level of certain skills. For example, extending the job level of my high wizard unlocked the following skills. Level 10 Energy Coat Level 15 Frost Nova, Fire Bolt, Cold Bolt, and Lightning Bolt Level 20 Magic Power, Marsh Pond, Heaven's Drive, Lord of Vermilion, and Storm Gust these advanced skills would give improved overall buffs and damage. Alright, now that we are familiar with the importance of job extension, let's take a look at how to actually extend our job level. When you reach job level 40, you may now take the job extension quest from Sigily in Frontera. Her questions seem to be different for each job as she was asking mainly wiz related questions when I did the quest. For the answers to the high wiz questions, I'll leave it in the description box below. After that, she'll instruct you to go to Hikii's inside the Adventure Hall headquarters. You'll need to surrender 30 silver medals and 500,000 zenny in order to complete the quest. Afterwards, our job level will now be extended to job level 43. Next, to extend to job level 70, you'll need to acquire peak shards. You'll need 9 peak shards for every free job level extension or breakthrough. Peak shards can be bought by the guild vending machine. You can buy this using either 20 silver medals, 2 gold medals, or 20 Nibelungen shards, depending on the level of your guild vending machine. You can only buy one peak shard for each type of currency per day, meaning you can only buy a maximum of 3 shards every day. Among the three types of currency, it would be best to buy peak shards using silver medals since we can acquire a maximum of 80 of these per week by doing the following. Guild quests, monster resistance, training rounds, rifts, mission boards, and endless tower. Take note that your peak shards are non-transferable, meaning they are character bound. Also, you can raise your silver medal limit from 80 to 100 if you are on premium. Once you've gathered the required 9 peak shards, go to the peak shard trader Alice Fiona in the guild hall to extend your job. Now we have extended from job level 43 to 46. We need to continue extending until we reach job level 70. If we'll exclusively be purchasing peak shards via silver medals, let's calculate how much time we'd need in order to extend to job level 70. Take note that we can also get a total of 9 bonus peak shards from our assistant. We'll get 1 peak shard once we complete the job extension quest. We'll get another 3 once we obtain 8 peak shards. Then another 5 once we conduct peak level breakthrough once. Considering that we'd get 9 free peak shards from our assistant, we would need a total of 72 additional shards to extend the job level 40. If we are not on premium, our maximum silver medals per week is 80. This means we can purchase 4 peak shards per week, which would amount to 18 weeks time or 4.5 months. If we are on premium, however, our max silver medals per week is 100. This means we can purchase 5 peak shards per week which is roughly 14 and a half weeks or three and a half months. This is the best case scenario in which we accumulate the maximum number of silver medals and spend it exclusively on peak shards. Otherwise, we'd be extending the time needed to unlock all 70 job levels. With that said, it's an option to start saving silver medals even if you're not yet on job level 40 as it takes time to accumulate peak shards. Entering each gate of the Valhalla Ruins consumes 40 silver medals, so keep this in mind if you're saving silver medals for peak shards. Every week, strive to obtain the maximum number of silver medals so we can start saving peak shards and working on our job level breakthroughs. 
soon enough when the next episode arrives, we'll be ready to switch over to the third job class. Alright, that's it for this video guys. Don't forget to like if you enjoyed watching this guide. If you're new here, I would love for you to consider subscribing by hitting the red subscribe button down below. I would love to have you back. Thank you for watching and see you in our next episode.